Hello, this is Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose, where Stampin' Ideas are always in bloom. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today is Technique Wednesday, and I'm going to tell you truthfully, my brain has absolutely had a brain freeze. I am getting ready to leave tomorrow on vacation for the beautiful Rocky Mountains, and really my mind is off into the mountains instead of here in the Iowa. Um, so I hope you guys can relate to that, that I am just ready to just get away, enjoy myself with friends, and do some photography that I love doing, and see in the wildlife and do some hiking, and just relax. And so, I'm going to make this very quick, very easy, very simple about blends. If you subscribe to my newsletter, you will get a project that involves using the blends. But I wanted to discuss the blends. And I have um, done a little coloring. And we're going to talk about this. And I uh, believe this one here in the corner is Falling Flowers. This one was the Pretty Kitty. This is a leaf out of the rooted nature. And this is a repeat of the Falling Flowers. And I wanted to discuss shadowing with you. Now, the Falling Flowers up in the corner here. And I do want to make sure you are seeing this. Yep. Okay, make sure. Yep, yeah, I'm over enough. Okay. I did it in... Uh... Daffodil Light, and then I brought out the Mango instead of the Dark Daffodil, okay? And then I brought in some, I didn't bring it out here, but I brought in some clips of Coral. And what you want to do is you want to shadow so that the darker is coming in. And the center here is the Mango. So what I simply did was I went in and started coloring and I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to stand up a minute because I need to make sure you're seeing this hang on okay yep okay and do this and I think guys I may lower the tripod when I get back from vacation. I'll be taking the tripod because I have a 150 to 650 lens. It's a giant lens and it has to be used on a tripod to get the nature photography done. So I'm going to be taking this tripod down and apart. And then what I did was I've got right around that edge, I went back over it with the the mango. I wasn't sure how I liked Total the Calypso Coral. And this is the point of blends is you need to get your blends out and you need to just strictly start coloring and trying different things. Now notice see I've done several different projects all on this piece of paper. And I think coloring can be therapeutic if you're not going to stress over the coloring of it. Because what you're going to do is you're just going to try it. Now, if I got to the point that I liked a particular one on this, and I'm going to go on the edge, and I'm going to do this purposely. If I got to the point I liked a certain color combination, I would probably have what I always call as a dummy uh, card, and I'm now I'm bringing in the. Um, no, no, I grabbed the smoky slate. Did I grab the smoky slate? Hang on, color lifter. Yep, yeah, no, I've got it. And then I'm taking my color lifter, and it will lighten the color. I want to remind you. Use your Memento Tuxedo ink when stamping. Don't do your archival. A while ago, I went and grabbed, not even thinking, and grabbed the wrong one. But anyway, what I'm telling you is, when you get to the point you like it, then maybe do it as going from the inside out as a one, 
of this color, a two of another color, and three of another color. And then maybe make a note that you blended something. All right. Now, I want to go over here to the leaf. This is what I want to talk about in a minute. And I am going to make sure you're in shot. There you go. Okay, yep. Yeah. The leaf I stamped in the memento. And then I took my green and I colored this. And then I took my soft suede on the right side and went around the edgy. The left side, I started doing it with the green just like before, and then I went to the gray, didn't like it, and then I went back over with this, and I don't like it at all. But this side here, where you've got the soft suede around, and you can go in and feather it. See how I'm feathering it right in there? And do the feathering. And bring out the marks so what you need to do and then if I didn't like if I wanted it lighter I could take and go with my and I could kind of even blend that in the markings into the green so what I'm getting at today with you guys is to experiment with your blends take a couple different patterns notice I've got the kitty up here that I stamped in soft suede I went around her edge with the gray so what I want you to do is get like a sheet of paper stamp some different images start playing with colors start playing with outlines and just experiment and then you're going to get more comfortable with your blends and you're going to get more ideas of what color combinations you like together because everybody uh, colors differently. Some of the girls will do a total like this. Some will do a swirl, which is what I prefer to do. So it's up to you how you're going to color it. But everybody's color combinations and the way they like colors together is purely your choice so the best thing I can tell you is get your blends out start playing start experimenting take some time with it get a glass of iced tea a can of pop a cup of coffee whatever it is you like sit down play with your blends just relax maybe put on some music and just enjoy coloring these blends they are wonderful and they will make your project stand out so I hope that give you an idea. Uh, do you want to mention that um, Facebook Live I will be having at 4 o'clock a week from Friday, which is 7th, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And it is going to be a catalog stroll. And also I will have some projects. I will have some of my Christmas things out. So that is going to be uh, one of the things I'm going to be going on with Facebook Live and a few other surprises. So what I want you to do is uh, put that on your calendar, that 4 o'clock on the 7th Central Standard Time. I will be doing Facebook Live. I know I haven't done it and it's going to be real rusty and it's going to be really interesting when I haven't done this in a while. But I'm going to give it a whirl again. And hopefully I'll come back from vacation all rested with lots of ideas and more than ready to roll with getting us busy on the holidays. And if you haven't ordered your catalog, make sure you do. Uh, you can request it uh, on uh, Stampin' Pink Rose site. Um, you can also email me that you want a catalog. They're free. So that's another thing you can do. Um, probably won't get your catalog out until I get back, but you can get the PDF online through my site and everything and find that. Again, play with your blends. Have a great day. Have some fun stamping and enjoy yourself. And take care. Thanks so much for joining me.